Question two, write in the missing numbers. Well, we've got 150 plus a mystery number equals 500, and we've got 172 subtract a mystery number equals 60. Well, if we start with 500 and we subtract this 150, whatever's left will be this mystery number. So we're going to do a column method. So it's 500, subtract 150, and whatever's left will be this number here. 0 to equal 0 is 0. 0 to equal 5 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1. The 1 that we borrowed makes this in the middle 10. 10 to equal 5 is 5, and 4 to equal 1 is 3. So this mystery number here must be 350. Let's just double check that before we move on. So 150 add 350, does it equal 500? 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 5 is 10, put your 0 in, carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus that 1 is 5. So that definitely is 350. We can tick that one. Let's get a different colour for the second part of the question. 172 minus this number must equal 60. So we need to find the difference between 172 and 60. So if we start with 172 and subtract 60, because 60 plus this number equals 172. So if we take the 60 off, we will get this mystery number. So 2 take away 0 is 2, 7 take away 6 is 1, and 1 take away nothing there is 1. So this number must be 112. Let's just double check that one. So we've got 172 take away 112. So we've got 2 take away 2 is nothing. 7 take away 1 is 6. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So that does indeed equal 60. Therefore 112 is correct.